Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Bozza here and it is Ryder Cup week. We are all super excited. Unless you're not a golfer, you might not be excited now, but you will be when the event starts. So today's video is a quick video about the golf course itself. So me and Jimbo Jet Golf were very fortunate to actually play the Golf National uh, in the summer. We had a terrific time and both of us really love the layout and it's a real contrasting course. The beginning and end has a lot of water, does feel a little USGA style in its kind of layout but then it almost goes linksy in the other parts of the course. Um, I think for Team Europe if they try and toughen that course up, slow the greens down a tad and really utilize some tough pins they can set that course up to their advantage but the finish you can't trick up it's a, it's a fair but extremely tough finish and with a bit of Ryder Cup pressure on you it could, we could see some very strange things happening so when you finish 14 which is a really cool par 5 you come over to 15 and you like re-enter the amphitheater you you get reintroduced to the water um, the lake splits uh, 15 and 18 so they're running in the same direction uh, when me and James played it was into off of the left made it very easy to find the water on 15 which we both did and it also means 18 will play very tough um, 16 the par 3 will play very tough and lots of different pin locations on that green and the pin location will determine whether that hole is really tough or a birdie opportunity 17 um, I felt was uh, letdowns not the word but it, it almost does feel a bit of a filler hole compared to 15 16 and 18 but we played that hole straight down wind um, if the wind is in the other direction, 17 then becomes quite a big animal. It means 15 is down, so you can still find the water because it's actually you can end up hitting it like through the fairway, and then 17 is going to be tough. But uh, 18 is a fantastic signature hole, and it's in Ryder Cup pressure. I could, I, I hope, my hope especially in the singles is quite a few matches get to the 18th. Uh, reason being is it's a hard one to protect the lead and I would like to see the best players in the world going in there with either a level or a one up and see what they do. When we played it in two off of the left it was very difficult to feel like well I'll just hit an iron down there because it was going to make the the approach shot, the second shot play so long and when me and James played I, I hit what I felt like was a pretty good driver I hit it down the right to ensure I didn't have any shenanigans with the water on the left but it meant I caught the bunkers and once I caught the bunkers there was no opportunity to go at the green I then still ha was now petrified of laying it up in the water so I laid it up too far right and uh, yeah, it was a bit of a mess from there. James hit it down the left and then didn't make the carry on his second shot and, and ended up finding the water a couple times. So lots of drama can happen on that hole. It's a fair hole and to a player that can just like hit a little cut with the driver, you know, it, it kind of suits Tiger's stock shot at the minute, that little peel off driver. So it's definitely playable, it's definitely going to give both sets of teams opportunity. You know, it, it's a great hole to go in if you're one down, you know, to feel like you can get that back. And if you go in there with a lead, one good tee shot could be the difference for you. So I hope a lot of shots go, or a lot of the matches go to 18, but overall, you know, we were there, they were putting up the stands and you could feel excitement at that point. I can't imagine what it's like at this moment in time. Wish I was there, but I will be here watching it on TV. Um, I hope that you get to enjoy it. 
and I hope Team Europe get the W. But both very strong teams. I think no matter who wins, they're going to have earned it through those three days. They'll be tired Sunday night because some good golf is going to be required. Get your comments down below. Who do you think is going to win? And who do you think is going to be the standout player of this event? One player, is it somebody that you were expecting? Maybe a Mr. Woods? Or do you think one of the guys that slipped in under the radar is going to have the week of their lives? Hope to catch you soon.